um, a lot of people would think that um, once you're on a professional level, that it's a lot more you know strenuous, a lot more this, a lot It's really having a routine and, and doing it. You know, like I mentioned before, the routine I had in Las Vegas, I always put in my head, I always have this and have, have that done. So you, at the time, you, you know what you got to do, you know what time you're going to get it done, you know what time your body going to rest. Your body will get used to it and then your body will become, become that, what you think in your head. You know, you plan something out. Your body, your mind, all of that will eventually meet up with what you had at the end. Because mm. you set it up that way, you made a plan. So basically what you got to have is, is, you know what I'm saying, when you reaching that professional level, and want to be the best player, person, your know, wife, husband, whatever, whatever you want to be. That's basically you got got to have that plan. So mine was just say we had uh, depending on our schedule throughout the week. Let's say we got two games, mm. two games that week. One game on Tuesday and a game Friday. Just mm. say it, that's our schedule. So on Monday, day before a game, you know I'll definitely wake up, eat some breakfast, something simple like that. But I will always be at the gym hour and 30 minutes before practice starts. So this is Monday morning. So you my breakfast and get to the gym. Say so we got 10, practice at 10 o'clock. I'm at the gym, I have to be at the gym at 8.30. Mm -hmm. Have to be at the gym at 8.30. Gotcha. You know, considering I can get my body stretched, mental, watch film on what I need to do, or working on it, practice, find out what coach needs for me that day. Mm -hmm. Just look small stuff like that, and that gives me enough time. I'm not rushing. Mm -hmm. I'm not thinking about nothing now, so I ain't worrying about nothing. Turn my phone off. I think about what I got to get done that day. Practice is not long. You know, you know, professional practice, you get in and out, you run through stuff, you don't even go through it two or three times. Like first time I was in training camp, he put in like, I'm, I wouldn't make this up, but like 30 sets on the fly, put in like 30 sets on the fly, all counters, reads, and all that to say. And one day, and then he asked us to run it. Well, run this. Yeah. So if you're thinking about, what your girlfriend doing on Twitter or some crazy yeah, stuff in the middle time. of that. Yeah, if you thinking about what you gonna eat for lunch, your mind ain't hundred percent where mm -hmm. it needs to be. So that's why I would do that before I get everything out the way, get everything done. So all I'm thinking about is what I gotta do to get better. You know what I'm saying? I simple simple simplify my mind. So don't make nothing nothing hard. So you know, practice or whatever. After practice I stay about another 30, 45 minutes just mm -hmm. to shoot. You know, just go back to what what I felt before I go shot. I shot before practice to get it all right. Mm -hmm. Make sure I go into the gym, get it right. Make sure it's right when I leave. So when I come back, you know, it's it's, it's steady flowing, steady flowing. So we that's Monday. I, after practice, I shoot. You know, I go eat lunch. I chill, relax, really play 2K, video game, Netflix, all the rest of the day. I got you. You know what I'm saying? I might go lift. We, we don't we don't have to lift as as a team. Mm -hmm. You know, it's basically personal upkeep, keeping your body right. So. I eat lunch and maybe after dinner, so I'm just go get a quick lift at night. Bam, that was my Monday. Game day Tuesday, wake up, get a big breakfast. Big breakfast, depending on whether it's a night game, whether whether it's a night game or early game. But usually, it game seven, eight o'clock. So you gotta get the big breakfast because that's what's really gonna hold you over. Mm -hmm. You know, because you don't want to eat a huge meal yeah. before the game. And if you do eat a meal before the game, it'll be around three o'clock, three four o'clock. So. You know, that breakfast is really what's gonna carry you throughout the game. So I'll eat a breakfast, you know, we go, I shoot around, and you know, I'm there, like I said, an hour and 30 minutes before everything. Right. Cause that's kind of the most, this is really it's getting ready for this game, the shoot around's coming about. We're about to talk about plays, scouting for everything we need to know so we can perform and execute what we need to execute. So I'm there. That's all I wanna be thinking about at the time. We're going through our scouting for it. I wanna be thinking about execute, mm -hmm. doing what I need to do, doing my job, okay. basically. So. I get there early, I'm ready, I shoot before shooting around. We go through shoot around, which is usually an hour, depending on if it's a quick scout. We scouted it before, maybe 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. Go out there, run through our stuff, run through their stuff. How they gonna stop, how we gonna stop their stuff, how they gonna try to stop us. Gotcha. We got it. That's gotcha. game day. Come back, it's time to play. Simple as that. So we'll be off, we'll be, we'll play the game Tuesday night, we off Wednesday. Automatic, you automatic rest day. We come back, practice, mm -hmm. same practice schedule. So basically, just wrapping it up on the nutshell, it's basically having that schedule and doing it every, you know what you're going to do every time, you know what the schedule is like every time. Your body, you're used to it, and your body starts showing you love for it. You'll be like, man, I feel good. You know, you're putting the right stuff in your body, you're doing it at the same time. Like your, your body knows you got to be asleep at 10 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Your body going to start to tell you. It's 9.30, you'll be like, yeah, I need to start, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> when you just all over the place like that, mm -hmm. your body up at what time now you 
up at three, got to get up at six thirty. Yeah. Go a whole day. Don't sleep at all because you got other priorities. Find priorities that make your body, you know what I'm saying, react to what you want to do. Like, I, got you. I mean, see, it's like it's a whole another lifestyle. Just hearing what you're saying, yeah. man. It's basically like a whole life change, basically. Definitely, definitely, definitely. especially coming from college. You know, like college is so team, team, team. Do this, do this, do that. You can't do this. You can't do this. You can't do this. Ain't no rules. <laughs> like when, when I coach, this is what I coach to tell us. If he tell us tell us anything, matter of fact, he don't even tell us that. He do his job, mm -hmm. but to coach us, get us a win, get better. We got assistant coaches to tell us, oh such and such. We got a player appearance at this time. Mm -hmm. Be there or not. If you don't want to be there, you ain't gotta go. All right. They gonna take it out to check. Basically. But but you know what I'm saying. You ain't gotta go. You ain't gotta do nothing. You ain't gotta go to practice. Right. You ain't gotta do anything you don't want to do. You can, you can do whatever you want, anything, you can do whatever you want, you know, just don't, it's just one thing, just don't do it in, in team attire, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, make, don't make us look bad because you want to be a clown, Basically. you know what I'm saying, but don't embarrass us in team apparel, don't talk, you know what I'm saying, like, don't talk about what's going on in our family, mm -hmm. it's our family, right. you know what I'm saying, so it's ba basically, you just, you don't want to em em embarrass your profession, because this is not your last job. You want another job. True. And if teams, coaches, whoever it is, know that you're that type of guy, that you're not a team guy, you, you, you embarrass your team for this, this, such, such matter, they know that. Right. And then it's, it's, it's simple. So just like, like you said, you're just showing that level of professionalism, like being that professional. Because basically, yeah, it's just really easy, man. It's laid back. Dope. Really? Not too much rah rah yelling. Yeah. It's, it's cool, man. It's I understand it. Definitely man. cool. But I mean, in the point, at, in the position you are now, as far as it being off season right now mm -hmm. and things like that, how are you working, and getting in the gym, working, trying to elevate your game? What are some things you're working on that can help you transition to a better season than you had last year? Most definitely, most definitely. Um, with me, you know, considering we was done, and I want to say May, I want to say middle of May, end of May. Uh -huh. um, it's done in May, and you know at that time that's when school was usually out. Mm -hmm. And being my first year out, I was in that school. I've been working out, you know what I'm saying, until school ended. So it's so say it's May 15th or whatever. We come back around this time, August, you know, August, whatever yeah. the month, whatever time you go to school. But at, right now I'll be getting my body prepped for a season. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'll be getting ready. It's August. I'm getting my body ready. I'm building my muscles. I'm lifting harder. I'm doing everything a little bit harder. Mm -hmm. Running a little more. Just doing everything extra because that time is. It's here. Season's right. here. But in this situation, we've done in May. My season don't start till November. Right. Yeah, my season starts in November, so I got the rest of this month, August, September, and October. So that's three additional months, or two and a half additional months of all season. True. So finding that balance of of when you're gonna get your body to peak, mm -hmm. if your, your best physical performance level you want it. I mean, you know, if you knew nothing about that, like right. make sure in your body at the right time. Track do that better than any sport. Mm -hmm. You know, they make sure they, they run, they make sure. So at the right time, when it's time to perform, mm -hmm. they can do it at their best. So what I do is like right after the season, I'm definitely going to watch as much film as possible. Mm -hmm. Watch as much film as possible. Figuring out what I could have done. Figure out my weaknesses. See what I need to work on. See what I need to do this, do that. And then in the middle, you know what I'm saying, kind of middle of summer, I get to attacking those weaknesses. Like say my left hand passes are terrible. Right. That's something I'm gonna fix early in the summer. You know, say I my reads on the ball screen are bad, everything. I'm doing that early in the summer. Say my, my jump stops ain't right. Say my right to left crossover ain't low enough. Say my you know, my, my rebound and my blocking that it ain't right. I fix all that okay. early. Fix all that. So you have a long time, you have a couple months to just work on straight weaknesses, straight weaknesses. And then you go back to watching film. Find out how you can implement the game, you know, doing, you know, stuff like that. Like, you see that play, you didn't know that mm -hmm. last year. You know it now, fix it. So then you get to working on game-like stuff, game-like attention. Then you start to get your body right. That's kind of the phase I'm in right now. I'm in the body phase, you know what I'm saying, film phase, trying to get my mental prepared. Mm -hmm. So when it's that last third of the summer, it's straight. I'm going hard out, I'm going all out, everything, getting my body ready, prepared for this battle. It's about to happen, you know, day in, day out. So... I mean, a lot of people don't even have regiments and routines like that. But like I mentioned before, got it, got it planned out. I know what's, what, I know it's at the end, mm -hmm. but I also know what I got to do in between. 
And you know, I got these phases I gotta do in between so I get it done. I see the bigger picture, but I know that it's, it's you know, like, it's a roadblock. Mm -hmm. It's a roadblock there. How you gonna attack that roadblock? You know what I'm saying? So that's what I would do. That's what I do. I do it with any and everything, you know, so. Yeah, man, you got me talking about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah you got me talking about it. I can't even let my personal secrets out. I understand, man. I understand, but at the same time, but I mean, as far as being a fan, bro, we see you doing great things, bro. We seeing you progression. It's me sitting here right now. I see you mentally locked in, bro. It's more it's more so like this is a duty. It's not just a game you playing just for fun. So I mean I'm really proud of you, bro. I'm ready to appreciate see you do big appreciate things, bro. Real talk. Appreciate it. But I mean, I appreciate you coming through the couch, bro. Sharing, sharing us with some wisdom on what you go through on a regular basis in this NBA D League life, bro. So it's what's up, bro. You know we got the fam behind you. You know we always gonna ride with you, bro. Yeah, that's a bet. Bro. Yes, sir. That's a bet. But y'all stay tuned, man. The Walk Review got some big things coming up, man. Big bro. time, big time, man. Keep doing your thing. On bro. to another episode. I'll see y'all soon. All right.